I'm Drew, and I'm going to show you a real quick side dish you can do. It's a sautéed cabbage. This actually started out as one of the ingredients when I was making the cold cannon for St. Patrick's Day, but it turned out the cabbage on its own was great before adding it to the mashed potatoes. So, um, got another cabbage, and we're going to go ahead and do that. So if you take a look, all I've got here is a cabbage, a little bit of leftover onion, and a few clo cloves of garlic, and I'm going to sauté it in bacon fat, although you can just as easily do it in olive oil. So, take the cabbage. We're only going to use about half of it. Let me take the bigger half. I want a little off-center. And that core there is a nightmare to deal with. So, we're going to cut straight through the core and cut the entire core right out. And I missed it there a little bit. So, let's do a quick cut. Okay, now the core is gone. Take off a couple bruised outside leaves because nobody likes those. And this is a little bit bruised. And with what's left, you can go ahead and cut that in half and do a quick dice. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get my burner going. I'm going to heat that up because this is only going to take a second to chop. Okay, so I've got the cabbages going good. Now what I'm going to do, pan should be heating up, I'm going to take a nice generous slab of bacon fat, if I need a little bit more than that. And while that's heating up, I'm going to start on the onion. Well, that's annoying. Okay, I've got the onion and the cabbage all cut up, now, except for this little bit. Now I'm going to take my two cloves of garlic, crush them real quick, and give them a quick mince. Okay, it looks like my bacon fat is nice and melted. So I'm going to go ahead and take my garlic. I'm going to throw that in along with as much of the onion as I can scoop up. It doesn't have to be real exact, we just want to get the aromatics in there first. Give that a quick shake. Get all bacon nice and the uh, onion all covered in bacon there. Okay. And actually, I'm not even gonna wait. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw all my cabbage right in there. Okay, now I can really give this a good toss. Whoops, a little too much. No shame in a couple pieces hitting the floor. Okay, now this, we're just gonna go long enough to wilt the cabbage and get a little bit of browning on it. Here, I'll break up these big pieces on top while I wait for the bottom to cook. This 
just a quick little pro tip here. While you're waiting for something to cook, clean up after yourself. That means less mess when you're done. We're so going to miss all this garlic. Okay. And the cabbage that I peeled off, that goes in the trash. And let's see if I can do it right this time. go. Starting to get a little bit of browning on some of that. Keep breaking up the big pieces. And you can also do that with the spoon if you're not confident with the, the tossing. Maybe I'm a little bit more confident than I ought to be. Of course, I seem to make a mess with the spoon too. What happens when you overfill a pan? It's already starting to smell really good. Now, if you don't overfill the pan, like I seem to have done here, it should only take you about two or three minutes to saute. This might take me a minute or two more. And make sure everything gets a minute or two on the bottom. I'm not sure, I'll just push it down. Try to break it up. What do you think, smelling good yet? She's nodding. The camera can't see you nod from behind it. So, let's try it again. Is it smelling good yet? Yes. Okay, better. Here's a piece. Oh my god, that's good. Ooh. You know what I'm forgetting? Seasoning. Do not skimp on the salt. And I like black pepper. That should do it for seasoning. Try it with a little salt. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you can use a little bit more. Okay. And that looks just about perfect. Let's try it one last time. Mm-hmm. Looks good. That's good. Yeah, told you it was. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Pause. Okay, you just keep focused on that. And let me see if we turn it off here. Get the bowl. Got the bowl. Now, your bowl has to have a chip in the corner. It doesn't taste as good if it doesn't have a chip in the corner. I'm just going to wait for somebody to write in and say, I had a bowl and I tried to put a chip in the corner and I broke the whole thing. You owe me a bowl. Don't actually chip your bowls if they're not already, okay? That's what's called a joke. And that's what's called way too big a bowl for that amount of cabbage. But it's already in there, so that's what we're gonna go with. And there is the sauteed cabbage with onions and garlic. And that should about do it. And 
would we take about four or five minutes to do that? Low carb goes with just about anything. We're going to have it with a pork tenderloin, which Jen did with uh, in the Dutch oven with a rib rub that she probably made herself. So that's it. Sauteed cabbage with garlic and onions. Thanks.